Welcome to part four of a four-part series focusing on the CFA recruit course. Recruits are from many different backgrounds, including current CFA volunteers and come from all over the state of Victoria. Operations Officer Chris Bingham, along with some instructors and recruits from the CFA recruit course, will take you through what happens in the 18-week course. A successful recruit is a person that can um, enjoy the experience of the recruit course, um, can master that work-life balance so that they can keep the requirements of the recruit course up, but they can also keep up the requirements of looking after their family at home. Um, when we get towards the more intense component of the course, which is at the end of the course, they're the people that can uh, enjoy and reward themselves for um, the experience that they've had and the skills that they've learned and understand the actual journey that they've been on and what they've actually achieved. What makes a successful recruit is a recruit that's able to adapt to their environment. Um, crews that are able to um, think outside the square, crews that have got excellent physical ability and crews that are able to um, work in a team, that's probably one of the biggest ones. Determination. Um, the willing to learn, the willing to take instruction certainly goes a long way. Um, if you're there prepared to listen, put in the hard time, um, you will make a successful recruit. Teamwork's important on a CFA recruit course because not one recruit will get through the course alone. They need all the team around them um, working together, um, whether it's a small group of teams like you might see behind us with um, crews of five working here on the fire um, or the squad on a whole. Um, all 30 of them in this particular case with 30 recruits. So we need that teamwork so that everyone can graduate at the end of the course. We start as a squad and we finish as a squad um, and you definitely need to rely on your, on your teammates. Um, not only for knowledge uh, but just for uh, encouragement uh, and also um, based on each, other, each person's skill sets they can all bring something to the table so we learn off each other as much as we learn off the instructors. Mixing with people from you know different backgrounds and and, and all that sort of thing has it, been really uh, interesting. Um, it's good to have different points of view, um, and, and I've really enjoyed that aspect of it. The recruits are from a whole multitude of different backgrounds, from different um, um, skill sets, from different employment or occupations. When we talk to recruits on day one, when they first start. We talk to them about that those skills and those experiences they have are actually um, an additional benefit to them for the recruit course because they can draw on them and apply them through the, through the recruit course um, and in learning their new firefighting skills. A lot of people already have commensurate skills that a firefighter requires. So really what we're doing is taking those existing skills and just modifying them in application in responding to emergencies. When the recruits um, start um, coming in and, and discussing with the recruiting team and have public information sessions, they're very much aware that CFA is a state uh, organisation and so our um, fire stations or our locations, integrated brigades, are located right around the state. Everywhere, if you can draw across everywhere from Mildura down to Terrelgan uh, and from Wodonga down to Warrnambool. Um, so there's 33 stations um, contained right around the state and um, so recruits are graduated to the majority of all those integrated brigades. I will be stationed at Carayo and I, I am actually really excited about it. It's a, I've heard so many good stories about it. I went and saw them uh, a few weeks ago. Um, it looks dynamic, it looks interesting. They do quite a few jobs. They have a lot of different appliances. So I'm very eager to, to um, get stuck into um, using all the different equipment there. The biggest change that we see is them being able to work as a team, together, bonding. Seeing them from day one, how separate they are to coming to the end of the course and how close they are together, how they work well together, um, the mateship, the camaraderie amongst them is probably some of the biggest changes that we see. It's been good to watch them um, turn basically from civilians into firefighters from day one. From an instructor's side, it's good that we've um, given them the tools and the skills to go out there and become level one firefighters on a fire station and where they can further develop themselves. Proud to see how far they've come once you get to that 
end stage and seeing where they were at the beginning, some of them never having a firefighting background whatsoever before, to coming out as a professional firefighter. I think there's a lot of opportunity and I can see that since I've started that you really, you could probably take this anywhere. So it's up to you. You, you do have to be determined. You have to have a plan. You have to have a few schedules in place to get yourself physically fit. Um, I think if you've got that, you need support too from family. If you've got all that, it's, it's fantastic. I think the, the career opportunities are limitless. For future recruits, I'd have to say, don't give up, keep trying. It's, it's hard work, it's a lot of hard work, but it's absolutely worth it in the end. Go for it. Um, this is a fantastic job. It's one of the most challenging and enjoyable things I've ever done and one of the most fulfilling. Um, I think you'll get so much out of it, as I have, um, and I can't wait to get out there on station um, and utilise what I've learned here. Um, but if you're thinking of doing it, just do it. It's, it's a fantastic career that you'll choose.